What's up my friends? I'm doing something that I really don't want to do. Um, I am going to play scary games. I love scary things. I love horror. I love most of the time I listen to like true creepy stories. But the one thing I do not like is playing scary games. When I was younger, I made my younger brother play Sly Cooper for me because the guards with flashlights scared me. So yeah, this is probably gonna be a really bad video. For me, at least. It'll be pretty funny for you guys, I think. Um, in fact, to show you guys how much I hate scary games, uh, my girlfriend has a picture of me screaming because a feral ghoul ran at me. So, here's the picture. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Here we go, yeah. All of these games I got from Itch.io because I'm broke and I can't afford scary games that I'll only play once. Uh, the first one is called Lonesome Hunter. Uh, I'm not really... I kind of want to just play these and see what happens so that it's like, I guess, scarier. It just looks spooky. Yeah. And then you get chased by this duck-human hybrid. I don't know, I don't really know anything about it. I didn't read it. Oh no, it's so loud! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh! Hello. Too bad it took you days to reach us, Hunter. You are too late to save most of them. Parasite that the Elder One carries has devoured all beings roaming this forest. Nevertheless, my family is still left to greet and serve you. Watch your steps and stay safe, Hunter, as I wish you the best of luck. I'm gonna put this here. Oh! Oh, what is that noise? Oh, no! Oh, oh my god! I'm not even looking at it. I can't do this! Oh my god, it's flashing red! Oh, I'm getting hit by whatever it is! Oh my god, my friend! What happened to my game? Okay, it was a parasite. Okay. Oh my god! I can't, I can't do this! I can't do this! Oh shit, now my movie's playing. Not what I wanted. Leave me alone. Where? Oh, I can't go that way. Do I just like kill them? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh my god, this is like annoying. Okay, I'm dead. Motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where the fuck you at, bitch? I fucking kill. There you are. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Or maybe not, because I, I just. Oh! Oh, it's blood hurt me. God, I cannot... Oh 
my god! Ah, get off of me! Oh my... Oh no! Get away from me! Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you? What are you? Okay. Woo. Oh god. Hey, why do you look so tired and weary? Gee, I don't know. Maybe it's because I just got attacked by weird virus things? Eh. The blood on your hands and knees. It's so disturbing. Gee, I know. Was it really that hard to follow the advice of my father? What? What? You should have not touched those pools. He didn't say anything about that. Oh god, please go away. I can't stand the stench of your rotting legs. What? What? Oh my god. No, oh my god, I don't know what that is! No! Oh my god! Sam, you spoke literally every single time you spoke. I don't know what it is! Ow! What? Uh, what? Oh my god, it's a boss guy! I'm not playing this anymore. I'm done with this one. I don't like spooky games. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, the next one is called Hell. Um, it kind of looks like Oregon Trail, only creepy. <sighs> Here we go. Kid. Okay, so that one was too spooky for me. It wasn't that spooky, but it was really atmospheric spooky. So the next one is Hell. It says, Welcome to Hell. You have died. Please enter your name. I'm gonna name myself Satan. Because, why not? Yeah. I would be so pissed. <laughs> I would be so fucking pissed. Okay. It says, unfamiliar place. You find yourself in a long hallway lined with windows. You don't remember where you are or how you got here. My mood is mopey. Pop the balloon? Yes. That was fun. Let's hope. Nobody heard that. Oh my god! I set myself up already! What is this? Are those eyeballs? The hall turns to the left ahead. You cannot see around the corner. The light seems to get brighter as you approach the corner. Proceed. No. What are you laughing at? Um, this bench has a surprisingly comfortable cushion. You move closer to the windows to get a better look. The glass is cold to the touch. You put your face up against the window and peek outside, but you can't see anything, just a dull whiteness. Great, I have to go that way anyway. Oh no! I hear noises! The room opens up into a vast indoor garden. This area has all shapes and sizes of cacti. You are no plant expert, but some- What the fuck? But some of these look extremely exotic. Oh, 
I hope that was a goat. Let's say it was a goat. Oh my god. Follow the path further. I have no other choice. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually cry playing these games. <laughs> the path tightens in an area with many beautiful ferns and different plants. You can see ahead that there is a clearing. Ooh, this thing's following my finger. A strange creature perches on a branch. It's watching you. It's got a lizard-like body and unusual protrusions from its head. Do you want to try and touch it? It may not be wise. You know what? I fucking watched Jurassic Park. I'm not about to be sprayed with acid. Screw that. No! I'm not touching it! You decide maybe you shouldn't touch the freak freaky creature. Probably smart. It continues to watch you. I'm gonna touch it. Ah! It bit me! I think. You lean in to touch it when suddenly it rears up and bites you on the arm! Then it scampers away into the plant cover. You are feeling woozy. Should have learned from Jurassic Park. We're gonna go down the path. Oh, look, a kitty! You find yourself in a beautiful garden. At the center of the garden is a large creature. You've never seen anything like it before. For some reason, you are not afraid. That's because it's a cat. Speaking. Lost little one. Do you not yet know? You will soon enough. Go. Take the elevator up. You will find a piece of what you are looking for. You find yourself... Oh, it's the same one. At the center of the garden is a pedestal where the strange creature once sat. An enormous pedestal sits in the center of the garden where the creature once one sat. There is a powdery residue. It smells of sulfur. Is that an elevator? Leave this area to check it out? In the thick of the overgrowth, you find an elevator. It's as if it appeared out of thin air. Ooh, look, some glasses. Perfectly good pair of sunglasses. No reason to leave them behind. Well, it's an elevator in the forest. The garden quickly turned to thick jungle-like forest. The canopy penetrates much light from getting through here, and the vegetation reduces visibility further. Oh look, here's the button. Do you want to push the button? You press the button and you hear heavy mechanical noise of the elevator begin. You can hear the machinery of the elevator as well as what sounds like music coming closer. The door opened to some sort of distortion field. You can vaguely see inside the elevator and some shadowy figures. You hear music coming from within. Enter the elevator. I guess so. You take a deep breath and step inside. On the left hand side of the elevator, there's a band playing. They are comp- oh, oh my god. They are comprised, not compromised, of shadowy human shaped figures. You can't make out their faces, they don't seem to notice you. What if I touch them? There are two buttons, up or down. What's it gonna be? Hmm. Up? You press the button, you feel the elevator begin to move. Leave the door. The door is open. It looks bright out here. Exit the elevator. The elevator opened its doors to a snowy courtyard. The buildings surrounding you seem to be some sort of factory, but not currently in production. There are footprints in the snow. It's hard to tell if they're fresh, but they head towards the door up ahead. I guess we'll go. Yes, we will. Everything in here is absolutely still. Machines fill the large halls. 
What does this machinery do? No idea. It's not doing anything right now. Large tanks holding god knows what. They look extremely heavy. Um. Oh, there's a lever. There's a big switch on a machine up here. Flip it. The machinery springs to life. <gasps> It's an egg. What the fuck? What is that? Uh, hello. Hi, friend. What the? F oh my god. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's a ladder now. Okay, should I go up there? I probably shouldn't go up there. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. You're in a quiet attic room. You can hear, or you can no longer hear the sounds of the factory. There is an open window and a chest of drawers here. There is a large chest of drawers. You try to pry them open, but nothing budges. There is an open window. It's bright outside. You can hear the sound of children playing. Climb through the window. You are in a recreation area. You hear the sounds of people playing and shouting, but cannot see anyone. Ooh! Ooh, what is that? Before you can take a step towards the painting, a monstrous animal leaps into your face. Scritching, salivating. Give them to me! You! You scoundrel! Oh my god, you scoundrel! Oh, my game went away. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Pig. I stole your sunglasses. He snatches the sunglasses from you. <laughs> I think I didn't get a scary game. Oopsies. Oh well, I don't care, I'm still playing it. Be gone, you! When my shades went missing, I should have known it would have been one of you. I'm out of here. Getting what it wanted, the pig monster flew away. At least those sunglasses weren't important. Right? Alright, let's go back to the picture, I guess. It's a wall, usually used for rouncing a ball or various games. This one has a painting on it. Touch the painting? Yes. You are in a dark cabin. There is a bar and standing behind it, oh god, are two clowns. A stove in the middle of the room warns the space. Okay, well, let me touch the stove. Yeah, that does nothing. Oh, God! <laughs> ah, Satan! You have made it! You are the one who popped- Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did I pop the balloon, motherfucker? Don't touch anything, Sarah! Don't touch anything! You are the one who pop popped our balloon. We do not forget! That's enough. You know. It's time for you to stop this wandering. There's nothing left for you here. Oh, shit. There's a painting on the wall. Look closer. Yeah, so I can get murdered. You're in the void. An egg sits before you. Oh, no. The end! It is the end of Satan! You have nothing but your memories now. You have reached the end of Hell OS. Thank you for using the software. Please recommend it to all who will be dying soon. Good night. Okay, well, yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting. Uh... There's more to it, so I would download it if I were you. I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys are interested. Uh, it was not a very scary game, thank God. Because if it was, I would have shit my pants. On to the next game, which is... The Footsteps Came From The Desert. Okay, well... Oh, my freaking battery died. Okay, well... well I'm gonna have to end the video there because my battery is dying. 
Uh, sorry, I didn't play the spooky game, but that other game was interesting, right? Sorry. I'll see you guys next time.